stop wasting storage on boring apps. I've got five insanely useful Android apps that will make your phones faster, smarter, and way more fun. I'm sure you would want at least three of these. And trust me, number five could save your phone or at least your phone data. So stay to the end for that security app you didn't know you needed. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button to see more videos like this one. Oh, but you guys interested? You can grab all of my live wallpapers straight from my very own epic live wallpaper, Arise app. Oh, the app's been banned from the Play Store, but that's not gonna stop me. I've gone full premium. So now, with a one-time payment, you get lifetime access to the full custom-made collection. We've all been there. We've sat a time off, ran into position, and then stood there. Did it take the photo? Oh, where's my photo? What's photo? Well, now with camera remote shutter, you no longer need to worry about all of that. It literally takes the shutter button and puts it in the palm of your hands. So what that means is no more standing around waiting for the timer to tick down. Instead, it's take a picture when you want, wherever you want. All you have to do is pair the two devices together through Bluetooth and then using the app, just tap away instant photo and if you want it it's even got burst mode as well as a delayed repeat photo taking mode as well oh yeah and this only needs to be set up on one device you can even pair your phone to someone else's phone and then take the photo that way if you want it pretty cool now something we all use every day those volume sliders now i know not everyone's a fan of the material u or even the brand new material 3 design so why not switch it up a bit with volume styles an app that allows you to take the boring standard stock volume controls and turn them into something that's fully customizable whether you like android ios miui oxygen os it's got plenty of things flying around all of which you can apply and use on your own phones. And yeah, you can even add in your own app shortcuts, screen rotations, you name it. It's got quite a bit of customization options here. Now, if you guys want the full rundown on how to get this out, I've made a full guide right here in the top right corner view. So feel free to check it out and comment down below which one is your favorite design language. Now, before we get to the main security app, Here's a quick yet powerful one for you guys to try out. WTMP, who touched my phone? It uses your front facing camera to snap a phone anytime your password is entered incorrectly. Just toggle it on and that's it. It starts logging every failed attempt. And if you wanted to take it even further, it allows you to set up cloud storage. So just in case your phone does go missing and someone tries to unlock it, snap, instant mugshot. Andy, right? Okay. Now, how many of you remember the classic iPod? Yeah, nostalgia's a thing. And so is Classy Pod, your own personal classic music player. You can use it to obviously listen to your own music, but also give you that retro vibe with all of the clicks and interactions from previous iPods past. And yeah, you could even rate the music tracks as well. It's, uh, it's, it's a fun gimmick. Now with phone theft on the rise, especially across London, where I'm from, it's becoming more and more risky just pulling out your phone, let alone handing it over to someone you actually know. Give me the phone. This Give me the phone. next and final app is purely security, aimed at those of you just like me who's got a smartwatch as well as of course a small Android phone. Radius Lock, the app which automatically locks your phone as soon as you leave its vicinity. So touch wood, it doesn't actually happen. But if your phone is snatched out of your hands, the moment it loses track of your watch, that's it. Bam, instant lock. Now, for those of you who don't actually have a smartwatch, you can actually pair this up with any Bluetooth device. And it will work exactly the same. As soon as the connection is lost, bam, locked. And there's a little extra, if you do install the smartwatch app, in case you do hand it over to, I don't know, your kids, and you decide, you know what, screen time's up, you can use the watch app to actually lock it instantly. Pretty nifty. 